Hello everybody, this is we from Mama Bree's Kitchen. I hope you are having a great day. Today we are making a classic dish that's loved by many smoothed meatballs in brown gravy. So guys, let's get started. You know Mama Wee doesn't like to waste time. Before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You will need 820 ground beef, breadcrumbs, garlic, chopped onions, flour, butter, heavy cream, beef broth, eggs, salt, and black pepper. Let's get started. We are also going to need fresh parsley. Let's go ahead and chop it, then place it in a small bowl then set aside. To begin, in a large bowl, mix together the ground beef, salt and black pepper, breadcrumbs, garlic, parsley, chopped onions, and beaten eggs. Now using a fork, mix everything until well combined. You can use your hands as long as you have washed your hands, it's okay guys, or you can use the gloves. Okay, the ground beef mixture looks well combined. Now we're using an ice cream scoop. We're gonna go ahead and portion it and shape it into meatballs. Using an ice cream scoop to portion ground beef into meatballs is a useful technique because it helps ensure evenly cooked, uniformly sized meatballs and minimizes the amount of handling the ground beef. Place the meatballs on a parchment paper and continue to roll the remaining ground beef mixture into meatballs until it's all used up. Next, we are going to heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large skillet over medium heat once the oil starts shimmering we're gonna go ahead and add the meatballs to the skillet and brown them on all sides for about five minutes here is a tip guys browning the meatballs before simmering them in the sauce serve several purposes first browning the meatballs creates a crispy exterior that adds texture to the dish. The browning process also creates a rich and flavorful crust on the meatballs which adds depth to the dish. Second, browning the meatballs helps to seal in the juice preventing them from drying out while they simmer in the sauce. This helps to ensure that the meatballs remain tender and juicy throughout the cooking process. Finally, Browning the meatballs also helps to develop the flavors of the dish. The high heat of the skillet creates a meal reaction, which is a chemical reaction between the amino acids and the reducing sugars that creates new and complex flavors. This reaction helps to deepen the flavors of the dish, creating a more delicious and satisfying meal. Overall, Browning the meatballs before simmering them in the sauce is an important step in creating a delicious and a flavorful dish. So here I cook the meatballs for five minutes, two and a half minutes on each side. 
Now they are browned on both sides. We're going to remove them from the skillet and set them aside. As you can see in the skillet, guys, there's still some onions that fell off from the meatballs. We're going to add one tablespoon of butter along with flour. We are making a roux here, guys. Keep in mind, guys, cooking the flour in a roux is a crucial step in creating a smooth and flavorful sauce the cooking process helps to remove the raw taste of the flour and helps to develop a nutty flavor which adds depth and richness to the sauce stir the flour until it forms a paste gradually add beef broth and continue to stir constantly Next, we are going to add heavy cream, stirring constantly until the mixture has thickened. Next, we are going to season the sauce with black pepper and salt. Continue stirring constantly, guys. Once the brown sauce is ready, we're going to go ahead and add the meatballs to the sauce and simmer until they are fully cooked so keep in mind you have to simmer gently avoid boiling the sauce as this can cause the meatballs to break apart and flow to the surface instead simmer the sauce gently which will help keep the meatballs fully submerged once we are done Putting back the meatballs into the pan, we're going to cover with the lid, which will help to trap the heat and create an even cooking environment, which will help the meatballs cook evenly and stay submerged in the sauce. Next, we're going to remove the lid and steer the meatballs around to make sure that they cook evenly and stay submerged in the sauce. I hope you are enjoying this video guys and if you do give it a like subscribe to our channel for more amazing recipes like this one and cooking tips now let's finish our dish we're gonna garnish it with parsley and guys is done there you have it guys smoothed meatballs in brown gravy or brown sauce i hope you enjoyed this video guys serve them with your favorite side dish and enjoy the rich savory flavor of the brown sauce thanks for watching until next time guys bye honey for my heart.